my video for August 12th, 2019 is video number 3175. The title is Journalism at Its Finest, John Pilger Quotes. John Pilger is an Australian journalist and BAFT, that's British Academy of Film and Television, award-winning 60 awards, documentary filmmaker. I looked up some of his quotes at whyquotes.com forward slash quotes forward slash John Pilger. Some are quite sarcastic. <laughs> Here are just a few. An internet search reveals many more. Number one, quote, more terrorists are given training and sanctuary in the United States than anywhere on earth. They include mass murderers, torturers, former and future tyrants, and associated international criminals. This is virtually unknown to the American public, thanks to the freest media on earth. Just a point, that's the sarcasm that I was mentioning. Number two, quote, we are beckoned to see the world through a one-way mirror, as if we are threatened and innocent of the and the rest of humanity is threatening or wretched or expendable. Our memory is struggling to rescue the truth that human rights were not handed down as privileges from a parliament or a boardroom or an institution, but that peace is only possible with justice and with information that gives us the power to act justly, end quote. Number three. Democracy has become a business plan with a bottom line for every human activity, every dream, every decency, every hope. The main parliamentary parties are now devoted to the same economic policies. Socialism for the rich, capitalism for the poor, and the same foreign policy of servility to endless war. This is not democracy. It is to politics what McDonald's is to food, end quote. I find this Australian journalist who has been living in Britain or England for a long time now uh, to be quite fascinating. I mean, I uh, someone sent me one of his quotes and I looked up several more because I wanted to just get a broader perspective before I recorded this video. And uh, I certainly got them. And, and again, if you look at that uh, link that I provided, there are numerous, maybe, I don't know, I didn't count them, maybe 15 or 20 different uh, isolated quotes that are included on that website that I gave you the address to without the HTTP or the WWW. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that an awakening is happening because from my perspective, people like John Pilger are trying to wake us up. And of course, as, I, as I've said many times, I was an Australian delegate to Swiss Indo. Uh, I was the only American and there was one Brit and uh, there were Aborigines and people from New Zealand and but there were 20 of us all together. And Swiss Indo, of course, was uh, headquartered in, uh, in Indonesia, uh, hence the Indo part of it. Uh, that was Indonesia. And we had a vision, at least I think most of us did. Many of us since that time have lost our hope that there would be some positive change. Uh, I have friends that I've made videos with uh, in the past a long time ago that from my perspective anyway, I don't have much conversation with them, but it seems like they've lost hope that there can be positive change on a world that's sick. I listened earlier to a cryon video and he said uh, that everything changed in 2012, that we experienced just a, a shift in human consciousness. And of course, he's not the only one that has said that. And I believed at 
at that time and for a long time thereafter, when I say a long time, I mean some years afterwards, I believe that was true, that we had a, a shift that was going to bring positive change. And that's one of the reasons that I thought maybe Obama might be he, here on this planet and placed in that position to bring some positive change. Of course, I was wrong. I've been wrong about uh, what Swiss Indo was capable of doing. And some have suggested that uh, uh, Mr. Sugi has been arrested. Now, I don't know that that's true. I've asked for confirmation. I am communicating with someone uh, that from that part of the world. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where any of that's going to go. I'm not sure where anything is going to go anymore. I am very much convinced that there are people waking up, perhaps more than at any time in past recent history of the past, you know, few decades and even centuries, but there's still a long way to go. I still have people telling me that Donald Trump is going to bring positive change, but I have other people and other things that I read that say that Donald Trump is just like all the other traitors. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's only interested in the financial aspect because that's his mentality. It's all about making money, and the money system is the control grid. It is the international bankers, and we don't need democracy uh, unless people are properly informed and told the truth, but people are not told the truth. People do not understand the dynamics from a spiritual aspect of what's going on on earth. And when I say from a spiritual aspect, I'm not sure that God is, take, is playing much of a role at all in bringing an awakening. Although Cryon, Lee Carroll just, you know, is, is insisting that the change came in 2012 and, and everything is depending on whether we believe it or not. Well, it's very, very hard to believe something is real when you experience the exact opposite from what you want the reality to be. You know, I believed I was going to live when I had my last open heart surgery. In fact, I, I didn't believe it. I knew that I was going to survive those, uh, them cutting open my chest and everything again, because my mission wasn't finished yet. And I knew that heaven on earth had not yet manifested. And this is, this is my vision since I was a, since I was a kid. I have had this dream of playing that role in bringing forth the kingdom of heaven on earth. And, and many of John Pilger's quotes uh, are really, really fantastic quotes. I mean, and as I said, some of them are very sarcastic. Uh, will we see, will we actually get to experience in my lifetime, in this current window of opportunity, will we get to experience some of the positive changes that many of us have wanted? Uh, Lee Carroll again cry on things that it's, it's happening in, in Israel, that Israel is going to play a key role in bringing about the change, but it's requiring a total shift in attitude. Well, the, uh, the people that created Israel were, are, the, are the same money grabbers and money changers that have uh, negatively dominated humanity for a very long time and, and enslaved virtually the entire world in their, in their money game. So it's going to take a lot to shift humanity into a higher consciousness and a higher plane of experience. Again, what is real? To me, experience is real. Uh, and I know my magician friends will say, but no, you experience something, but a magician can trick you. Yes, a magician can. And are there magicians that are malevolent? It would seem that there are ma malevolent magicians that are at work. I call them demons. And they've been operating for a very long time in human history. And I'm calling for a real change. I'm calling for humanity to be awakened and be transformed from the inside out. Thank you for listening and namaste.